All right, here we go. Also, because this is an old game, the audio's pretty inconsistent. So she's kind of going to be whispering, I think, in the beginning. Uh, but don't be alarmed. It does get louder. But if she's also like screaming at any point, <laughs> let me know. Let me know. Was that a Hannah Montana game? Shh. I was trying to get it running today, but it, it was not. It wasn't working. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Hi, it's Nancy Drew. Welcome to my, my God, she sounds so enthusiastic. Message in a haunted mansion. Junior detective, please. All right, here we go. Come on, gentrifiers. Let's go. Dear Bess, hello from stormy San Francisco. This time I'm staying in a beautiful Victorian mansion. You'd love the room I'm in. It's full of old Chinese furnishings and some interesting knickknacks. The owner we of love the house, Rose Green, is a friend of Hannah and asked me to come out and help her with some renovation work. She and her friend Abby hope to turn the place into a bed and breakfast by next month. But from what Hi, I gathered, Rose isn't sure if she can open in time. Ever since they started the renovations, they've had a lot of accidents. Could it be just bad luck, or is there something more sinister at work? I'm sure something I'll find more out. sinister. You know, in the Message in a Haunted Mansion book, uh, Abby and Rose, the gays who get an Airbnb together. Their uh, niece and aunt. <laughs> They're it's related not. in the book. So isn't that fun? But in this game, they're gay. Accidents. Why so many? <laughs> niece and aunt, aunt by chance. Lovers by choice. Exactly. Nancy would have her own name monogrammed on there, wouldn't she? Wouldn't she? Man, this, it's beautiful, but it's also so overstimulating. Let's take a, let's take a little nap, shall we? Nancy's already done. All right, check. We've done one nap. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's fun. And we're back. <laughs> the game was also taking a nap. And we're back. They said it couldn't be done. We can't be slowed down. None of you panic. Bring my child to this story of dreams and know that the beginning is more difficult than it seems. When the Hang on, I'm writing. Daughters are reunited child. In order, when the four-sided box loses its border. When the eye of the phoenix is in your hand, everyone relax. When the bird of fire can see again. When the moon sleeps and the sun plays, the king of the sky will shine. I appreciate Nancy reading this for me. And hidden beneath a river of colors will lie king. a gate to golden wonders. River? Golden. Ooh, Taco Bell. I love Taco Bell. We never get Taco Bell because Dan doesn't know what to order. And I'm like, it's a Taco Bell. Get tacos. It's not rocket science. All right, I do get lost in this mansion. I really do. Hello, Nancy. I see you've arrived safely from your long journey. But I'm sensing an aura of danger around you. Sensing? I can tell you're an inquisitive type. She's an empath. skeptical and that you don't believe in ghosts. How do you know I don't believe in ghosts? <laughs> I know many <laughs> things. I know how to communicate Love. with the spirits, and I know things about people that they don't tell me. Call it intuition or ESP. Empath. The spirits in this house are interested in you, especially since you don't believe in them. Watch out. They may give you a rough time just to get your attention. I also love her outfit. She's serving. Look at that smirk she's giving me right now. Does your intuition tell you who could be behind these recent accidents? I'm not sure, but for some reason the name Valdez has a strong connection with this mansion. Misanthropic, hi! Welcome! Good to see you. Well, Let's be sassy. You'll be the first to know if I find a ghost floating over my bed. Do you dare mock the supernatural? Just bear in mind what I've told you about this place. 
Spirits of the deceased can do unimaginable harm, especially to those who don't believe. Now, if you will please excuse me, I need to prepare myself for this evening. At that time, more <laughs> will be revealed. Um... <laughs> That's me getting ready for my eight hour stream next week. <laughs> that is me preparing for my Twitch streams. All will be revealed. All right. This way, yes. Okay. Hello, Nancy. Also serving. I'm very glad you could come out here. We can really use your help, seeing how far we are behind schedule. Are you all ready to do some renovation work? Work, Nancy. No. Also, look at her waist. It is snatched. I love this outfit. I sure am. This I love the mug. This must have quite a history. What do you know about it? Not very much, but Abby found some interesting old papers that might give us clues about the history of the house. They're in the parlor if you want to take a peek. There's also an old this is how I talk. saloon in the basement, so it's possible the house was once a hotel. This is the Nancy Drew couple. These two, Rose and Abby. Aw, oh, okay, K-Stumps, this is the first Nancy Drew game you ever played? What a classic. Also, did you play this as a kid? Because I definitely would not have solved the tile puzzle we're about to do as a child. Last night, you mentioned some accidents. What exactly happened? I don't know where to begin. It started out with some small but irritating things. But then the scaffolding collapsed. And just last week we had a gas leak. I really don't know whether I can stand much more of this. I would love to have a week without any accidents. Manifesting it for you, girly. I can understand your frustration, Rose. Do you think it's just bad luck? I'm not one to believe in bad luck. But it's been one thing after another. Maybe Charlie doesn't have the expertise for these renovations, but his rates are so affordable. We love exploiting I labor. I sometimes wonder, though, if this old house would be worth more burned to the ground. Enough chit-chat. <laughs> Very Hannah subtle. tells me you're a real pro Very with subtle. puzzles. Take a look in the corner. Those wood tiles should fit inside the inlay pattern of the floor. Abby and I tried for hours, but it's just too complicated. I'm sorry for not introducing How many gays around, does it take? But everyone posts their schedule here in the dining room. It's kind of like Command Central. Let me know how far you get with that puzzle. And thanks again for helping us, Nancy. All right, let's see. How many gays does it take to solve this tile puzzle? That's the real question. All right. So the, the, the thing with this puzzle is it has to be so precise. So precise. That may look like it's right, but it's actually incorrect because there's a slight gap there. And so the puzzle will not accept that as correct so we're gonna be here for a while okay see like that it has to be i mean is this how people felt when they were like launching the first rocket into space is this how people feel when they do open heart surgery that's kind of the situation we're in right now from being so serious snickerdoodles mm. I remember. I do love a tangram though. A classic. Do that. Actually, that's looks off. Okay, there we go. I think I nailed that. This is really gonna bring the Airbnb together though. I do have to say. Gentrifiers famously love tangrams. Their favorite thing. Up. God. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, I forget if we move this piece in the middle here. Maybe we do. I'm scared to move it. Oh, no, you don't. I don't believe you do. And what fits in here? Hmm. This guy. Okay. And then a little of this. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the gap thing, this is apparently the patched version. They had to go back and fix this. In the 2000s, I just don't think people beat this game. <laughs> 
This is the improved version, but we'll see. We'll see how long it takes us. Ugh. Okay. Well, I think we have the general placement, and now it's just going to be fixing. Yeah, I... Kit simply gave up in the 2000s. We had, like, 9-11 to worry about. We had other stuff to do. <laughs> the nation was under attack. We didn't have time for tangrams, you know? Kids today don't understand. Oh, see, that's fucked up. Fucked up somehow. Hmm. Okay, that looks better somehow. I thought they were the same, but I guess not. Okay. How? How did I, how did I goof it? Ah. There we go. There we go. Okay. Hi, Laffy Taffy. Okay, it all comes down to this. Folks, it all comes down to this. It looks like... Ugh. I'm like going closer to the monitor. My mouse is too sensitive. Sometimes trying it with a different one works. Or not. Or sometimes that fucks it up more. Okay, and then I think we have this a little too far over. <sighs> Thank you for the hydrate, Blue Star. We're so close, though. It is also so sweaty today in my stream room. Okay. Come on. Also, the dogs are growling at something. I don't know what. I did it! I did it! Woo! Woo! And that's how the game opens. <laughs> and that's how the game How's starts. That inlay puzzle coming along? I, I finished, finished it. it. Wonderful. But now I've got something else for you. I set up a ladder upstairs so you can chip More off work. the broken tiles on the hallway ceiling. You'll need to look around for a chisel or paint scraper for the job. I'm not sure where Charlie keeps them. How'd you meet Abby? Which which local How did gay you bar? Meet Abby. She was the drama coach back in oh. River Heights. Mm -hmm. And we worked on a couple of plays together. My bid on this house was too low, so she pitched in her savings to help me. That get is a place. new emote. If it weren't for Abby, I couldn't have afforded this place. Just two gal pals going in on a <laughs> a San Francisco home together. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. So two, long. Two platonic friends. All right, that's their schedule. Okay. And oh, real child. When the bird of fire can see again. Fire. Do do. Hard to draw this when I don't really know. Is that good enough? <laughs> I drew it, but I don't think I drew it well enough that I'm going to recognize it later. We have to keep track of all these Chinese symbols for a puzzle later, in case anyone's wondering. I have amended your fire insurance policy per instructions. The property located at 4653 California Lane is now insured for the sum of $1 million against fire or earthquake damage. I mean, honestly, that's nothing. That's... Nowadays, how much is this house? $5 million? This gigantic house in San Francisco? That's depressing. 
That's depressing. All right, how do I back out? There we go. There we go. <laughs> how do I back out once more? Uh, it's kind of hard to navigate in these games. Oh, we should definitely... All right. Anytime I solve a puzzle, we just, we gotta save. We absolutely have to. Don't let me forget, because this game <laughs> may just freak out. Yes, I was having fun playing. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. That's my offline persona. Um, a chisel over here, somewhere. Aha! And then, oh, we have to talk to uh, what's his face? Wherever he is. <laughs> there we go. Eventually. We're making our way over. Slowly but surely. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> How do I turn to Okay. There we go. We made it to the we made it to the door. That was a little that was a little embarrassing how long that took Hi, me. You must be Nancy. My name's Charlie. <laughs> You're not Ned, or are you? Nice to meet you. Rose and Abby really have their hands full with this house. Yeah, most of these Victorian mansions need a lot of work, but I don't mind getting my hands dirty, you know? This place will look great once it's finished. So, can you imagine if this was Ned? This was canon Ned? <laughs> Honestly, it's canon. It's canon. What do you know about the history of this house? Not much. Uh, Lewis told me it was built in the 1880s and that it survived the 1906 earthquake. Who's Lewis? He's Who's an Lewis? Dealer, I, I think. I guess he does consulting. <laughs> he looks like a skinwalker. Like Victorian furnishings and stuff. <laughs> he looks like um. Oh, this might be too niche. You know that Truth or Dare horror movie with Lucy Hale, where the bit was that they would smile like, and then murder you. I never saw it. I just remember the trailer where they smile like that. Do you have any idea why there's been so many accidents on this project? I have no idea. People are blaming me, but it's not my fault. I know what I'm doing. I know how to do this work. Listen, Nancy, I really need it's to get his back fault. to work. I'm repairing some floorboards, so be careful walking around. Rose is looking for you earlier. Maybe she has something for you to do. See ya. Oh, okay. We just immediately got kicked out of that conversation. Thanks. Bed and breakfast on the rise. Woo, housing boom. Yeah. I mean, we know it's not the girls. We know it's not the girls' fault. So, Abby and Rose would never. All right, we have one more person to meet. Onwards. Wait, wrong way. Hey, babe. Not here to see you, but hey. Hello. Catnapping. Am I supposed to be able to read this? <laughs> like two pixels. Why'd they put the- I can't- I can't even see it. <laughs> I do love this house. I would sell my soul for this house. But it's a little out of my budget. I think it's a little out of my budget. Hello? Hello? What was that? What was that? <laughs> okay, James? Anyways. It's spooky. Hello. I was so wrapped up in my book, I didn't <laughs> hear you come in. He's melting. My name is Lewis Chandler. He's melting, your honor. Pleased to meet you. My name is Nancy Drew. Are you a friend of Rose? Yes, I'd like to think so, but I'm an antique dealer and a client <laughs> told me <laughs> that Rose and Abby had recently acquired the estate. I'm an authority on the Victorian era, so they were only too happy to let me use the library in exchange for my advice on the renovations. <laughs> His eyes look like they're looking like in two completely different directions. Like, he must have incredible peripheral vision. 
You must know a lot about the house's history. Actually, I'm a bit in the dark about this particular property. However, as far as Victorian mm -hmm. mansions go, I don't see anything remarkable about this one. <laughs> Lewis Chandler wasn't at the Capitol on January 6th, but he does believe they're patriots. Abby thinks the mansion is haunted. Does she? There have been documented cases of hauntings in <laughs> is older Is he flexing mansions. right now? And I might add, not all of the hauntings were by friendly spirits. What are you using the library for? Research. This library contains many rare books and documents that predate the Great Earthquake. It was quite a find for a student of the Victorian period, such as myself. He's playing Candy Crush in here, isn't he? What do you think Absolutely. could be the cause of these accidents Rose has been having? Accidents? What do you think could be the cause? I know Rose has mentioned some inconveniences like that wall covering and the light supplies, but I would hardly call those accidents. I'm sorry, but I'm quite busy No one moment, wants to talk to me. Although I'd like to talk, I really don't have the time. Please, excuse me. No one wants to talk to Nancy. Boom. We have a tile. Acquired. He looks like a puppet acting like a real man. He sure does. He absolutely does. Oops. I'm back. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, he's like, I'm so busy. And then he just sits right there in front of me. It's like, I can see you. He's reading like some self-help book. 100%. Need a paint scraper. Good thing we have one, sis. It's locked. Ah, <gasps> it's locked. Is it um hmm. What time is it? Three something, two forty-five? I don't know. I don't know how to read actual clocks anymore. I'm Gen Z. Well, <laughs> should we try taking it? Hello. Should we try taking another nap? Cause, uh, we have to see some stuff downstairs, but Charlie doesn't leave until five. All right, take a nap and hopefully the game won't crash. We can only hope. Look at that. Isn't it just beautiful? When it works, it works. When it works, it works. Anyways, <laughs> love what they've done with the place. I keep going in circles. Oh, that's just me. That's just so me. I always get stuck trying to go to the basement. How do I? <laughs> it's a puzzle. An enigma. There we go. All right, let's sniff his stuff. Ooh, can put some uh, little treats in there for later. Anything here? We have a screwdriver. Thanks. Sc screw it. No? Alright, we can just stare at it, I guess. Intimately. We go around the back? No, why would we? Why would we do that? It's stuck. It's stuck. <laughs> yep. It's stuck. Come on, you're strong, Nancy. Um it's So hard to figure out how to ugh, navigate in here. Scandal, horror, outrage. Citing the increased popularity of stage reviews and decreased charitable contributions, the Ladies Protection Society has announced a shocking new strategy for raising much needed funds for the benefit of widows and orphans in our region. No longer will the good ladies of our society hold garden parties, afternoon teas, or cakewalks to solicit contributions. Instead, these proper wives, daughters, and mothers will act on stage like common troubadours in several popular plays in order to raise money for their good works. As decent gentlemen, we should not allow the fair sex to denigrate themselves to this level of vulgarity. Women belong in the home, not upon the stage. Well, if the women want to have drag brunch, I say let them. 
That's just me, though. That's just me, a, a rat, rad fem. It's stuck. It's stuck. Can't believe that didn't work. Can't believe that didn't work. Well. <laughs> well, I forget where we get the key. I thought we got it in here. Ah, come on. There nowhere we can we can just zoom in on this for no reason. There we go. There we go. I'm the puzzle master. <laughs> the real puzzle is in my own little mind. Oh. You know, they're drafty, these old houses. Honestly, what is a cakewalk cakewalk and why haven't I been invited to one? Women aren't doing cakewalks anymore, and I think that's a real sad thing, because I want cake. Alright, back up this way. I see you. Hello. It's locked. That's just my boyfriend. <laughs> oh, that's just Dan. Being so goofy silly right off camera. It's like a dancing contest? Oh, wait, so like the cake is like them? They're the cake? Is there actually any cake involved? The prize was a cake. Oh. Okay. I could get down with that. Okay, now they don't expect me to read that font, do they? <laughs> Can y'all read this? Can y'all read this? <laughs> I guess we'll never know. Well, <laughs> in my in my broken Mandarin, I asked about the old man, uh, employment situation, and and pooped him to return with me to engineer my next. Uh, Hatch, he became embarrassed, and my dining companion protested my Fortnite coming attitude, um, even in the far east, where <laughs> their traditional are so different from turd, a woman is still confined to remain uh, Paddington and uh, Reek regard regardless of her passion and intellect. <laughs> I could go on if y'all want. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Well, I guess we'll never know what she said in there. I guess we'll never know. Uh, oh, we need a different, different key, perhaps, for that one? Okay. This I can read. Push her auburn hair back behind her ear. What's all this about? I'll do no such thing, you villain. Oh, that's it. Okay. Okay. Go off. Well, Whoop. get me out of here. All right, we're free. Um, saving once more. Hello. Oh, she's not here. <laughs> Nancy, get <laughs> out of my room. <laughs> Rose! Rose! What the heck? Nancy, <laughs> I'm ashamed of you. Everyone in this house expects what? some degree of privacy, and you have obviously what violated do? that trust. <laughs> Your behavior is completely unacceptable. No arguments. I cannot stand to have someone so inconsiderate in my house. 
I was I lost. for Abby to drop you off at the airport. <laughs> I'm sorry it has to work out this way. Goodbye. Excuse me? I... <laughs> well, okay. Well, okay then. What time is it? Uh, 5.45? I don't even know her schedule. I was just checking on her. Is that so wrong? Is it a crime? Is it a crime to check on a friend? When the ten daughters are reunited in order. <laughs> she was like... <laughs> you would have thought that she caught me like lurking through her panty drawer or something. I just, I simply walked in. <laughs> I was simply lost in this mansion. Is that a crime? Okay. Is being a detective a crime, Your Honor? Also, I thought we had a seance tonight. I was just trying to attend the seance. I don't know her schedule. Is she there? Is she sleeping? The spirits wish to speak oh, to you. Oh, hell yeah. Nancy. Tonight, I will channel their energies to deliver a message. Meet me down in the basement, if you dare. Please I'm so down. ready. Oh, really no. I have time for this. Let us begin. <laughs> the turban is out, mama. To contact the shades of those who have passed before us. Gaze into the crystal ball. Gaze? Get in that crystal ball. <gasps> Who has called me forth from the great beyond? <gasps> we have. Are you the spirit known as Valdez? <laughs> I was once called that in the world of the living. Are you the spirit who has caused these accidents? There's a gay in that ball. I have come back searching for her, my wife. Where can she be? She's right there. Silly ghost. The spirits have spoken. <laughs> Rest the easy, ball. It's over. We've got a busy day tomorrow, and no more time for these. <laughs> Rose is like, anyways. Make sure you blow out the candles on your way up. I don't want to wake up and find the house on fire. Anyways. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, not 10 p.m. Bring back my girls. <laughs> the spirits are requesting. Drag brunch. All right. Set. Uh, 7 a.m. Why not? <laughs> All right, Nancy. She said good morning to herself. I want to make note of that. Oh, I keep accidentally flying past all the spooky ghosts. Oh, whoops. Ah! Anyways. Hello. How oh, are the you're here. Coming along? I'm all I'm finished. I'm all finished. But you should know what I found. I'm sure it's very interesting. <laughs> she said, no thanks. It's really important. I've got other things to worry about. Let's no see. thanks. If you're any good at fixing things, there's a dumb waiter in the hallway that's not working. Uh, first of all, he has a name. It's Charlie. Um, How did you find Charlie? He just showed up one day. It was really <laughs> odd. I remember Abby and like I were in the basement dog. talking about hiring someone to help us. 20 minutes later, the doorbell rang and there stood Charlie, looking for work. He's he's living in the walls, absolutely. How do you know Lewis? He stopped by one day to introduce himself. He seemed awfully curious about our property, but he's an antique dealer specializing Charlie in the Victorian was the ghost. period. He's been extremely helpful advising us on authentic decor. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. I'll, I'll let you go. Actually, I want to check on... Um, What's her name schedule? Out from three to six. Oh, so I got really unlucky, didn't I? Um, Dumbwaiter is upstairs, I believe. 
Let's do the dumb waiter. Where are you? There you are. Or not. Or not. Did I do this the wrong way? I have to do it downstairs? How many... What is, how many Nancys does it take to fix a dumb waiter? Where is it over here? There it is. Aha! Yeah, like, what did Susan do to deserve that name, you know? Or waiter. Some of my best friends are waiters, I'll have her know. So, first of all, who is Sophia Lillis? Should I know that person? That lost 17 million dollars? I'm, I'm missing out on the joke. Beverly, what? <laughs> I'm so lost. I'm also lost in this mansion, but that's another thing. That's a whole other thing. Lost and confused. When the eye of the phoenix is in your hand. The movie, okay. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I do know what you're talking about. I got there, I got there. Um. Two. I am really bad at drawing these uh, Chinese symbols. Oops, I accidentally ordered Chinese. I think that was the gay spirits doing that. Don't worry. Those pesky spirits are always ordering Chinese food for me. And it's like, come on. I've had takeout two times this week, spirits. Please. The torment. Do, 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 do. You're not here yet, right? No. No. It won't fit. It won't fit. What about there? Haha! -ha! Let's go in the walls today. Hell yeah, brother. One thing about Nancy is she loves being in some walls. He's being a sussy baka out there. Aha! That's it! Lewis, are you in there? Lewis, are I'll you in right there? there. <sighs> He's hiding something in his briefcase. You don't say, Nancy. Well, <laughs> There we go. Of course, we have to put it all back exactly as it was. Leave no trace. That's what Nancy says. Listen, my child, to this story <laughs> of the feet. The zoom in on the feet. Um, like uh, that, sort of. Okay. Yeah, Nancy's kind of a perv. Luckily, she uses her power for good most of the time. Question mark. All right, time to creep. I don't need chess lessons. I'm an expert. Maze game. This is the most cutting edge technology. <laughs> Whew. Oh. Nancy, you, you, you gotta back up a little bit, babe. Oh, you can use the directional keys. Okay, there we go. That's much better. <laughs> All right, Nancy's moving. Nancy is moving. Feet scare me too. And then sometimes I forget that like outside of like the internet brain rot, feet are like a normal thing. <laughs> feet are like a normal part of the human body. And I'm like, oh, right. I'm the weirdo because the internet has destroyed me. But now feet scare me. Oh. 
spinning around. I know who... Do you think people specifically go to med school thinking, yeah, feet. That's my life's work. That's my passion. Hang on, where am I? I'm gonna orient myself. Oh, there we go, this way. This way. This is really secure. We're in. Folks, we're in. Antiques. Briefcase. This is why we need the auto-generated passwords these days. He's why. He's exactly why. Four, eight, six, eight. <laughs> when I first met my boyfriend, we would watch TV and I'd comment on the feet as a joke. He thought I had a thing for feet. Yeah, I think... <laughs> Sometimes I worry that people must think the same thing about me and not know I'm joking. It's, it's just the, that I'm chronically online. That's all it is. All right, well, not much to see, huh? He doesn't have any fun games on his computer. Okay, I guess that's it. All right, time to hack into the mainframe. Four. Six. Fuck. Five. Boy, my voice cracked. Three. Y'all want to know something that really makes me angry? So I'm watching the new season of Love is Blind, and there's someone on the show named Jeremy. Guess how he spells his name? He spells it with an A. One A. J. E. R. A. M. E. Y. Just orange, that's exactly it. Jarmy. I'm like, be so serious right now. Be so serious. Um oh also yes, Ghastly. I certainly would, yeah. Is this who this Jerma guy has been? I guess so. Did I tell y'all? Someone left a comment on um one of my YouTube bods a long time ago that was like, finally, a Jerma for the girlies, which I <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I know who Jerma is, but I've never really seen a Jerma stream. And I told Dan that and he was like, ha ha ha, that's not true, but that's very nice of them to say. <laughs> He's like, that'd be nice if you were, but uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Keeping me humble. Hidden treasures in our home. I have consulted and worked on the restorations of hundreds of California homesteads, ranches, haciendas, and mansions dating back as far as the 18th century. What the? What, what are the? you doing in there? What happened? Um, I got caught snooping around, and Rose asked me to leave. I got leave. caught snooping oh, around. No. Now you won't be able to solve the mystery. Better luck next time, I guess. That's too bad. <laughs> And to think you could have saved the day and helped out Rose. I know, I know. If only I had another chance, I'd be a lot more careful the next time around. Well, it wasn't Germa for the gays, it was Germa for the girls. But also, I don't know if y'all... <laughs> what do you mean accents? I don't know if I shouldn't be incorporating accent humor in here. Is that the move? All right, it's only 8.30. Do I have to redo this? Oh my gosh, I have to redo this. I have to redo this. Four, six. And then, um, four, four, eight, six, eight. Yeah, I've only seen like a few clips from Germa, which I like, I think. I think they're funny, but I literally know nothing. Because I remember I put a clip of Jerma in my Nancy Drew video because there's a clip of him playing Mad Dog McCree that I thought was really funny. And I was like, Dan, you need to let me know if Jerma is like some wildly offensive streamer that I shouldn't be putting in my video. And he's like, no, Jerma's good. <laughs> Dear sir, I represent a client who would like to sell their collection of post-Civil War gold bouillon. Bouillon cubes. 
My client wishes to remain anonymous during all business transactions, and I am having difficulty determining the nature of their collection. What Fuck! The, what are you doing in there? What happened? <laughs> um, I God got damn it. caught snooping around, and Rose asked me to leave. Oh no! Now you won't be able to solve the mystery. Better luck next time, I guess. He comes in That's so fast. Too bad. And to think you could have saved the day and helped out Rose. I know, I know. If only I had another chance, I'd be a lot more careful the next time around. <laughs> okay. Blue Star, I wrote down, I had some ideas for portmanteaus yesterday, and so I wrote down two, and I'm looking at them in my notes, and they make absolutely no sense. <laughs> so. Here, let me just read them as I have them written down, because I wrote them so I would remember. Someone Dudes by Taylor Swift and Drink Honey Boo Boo Drinks. Don't know what that means. Kids Choice Awards, I'm a B. I wrote gibberish. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I wrote, listen. Yes, I can, I can say that again. But I also don't know what I was saying. <laughs> Someone Dudes by Taylor Swift. Someone Dudes. <laughs> and Drink Honey Boo Boo Drinks. And then the other one is Kids Choice Awards. I'm a B. Sometimes I write things when I'm tired and... <laughs> Y'all don't even want to look through my um, notes. My notes are are crazy like uh here let me let me find some more of my delirious notes just while we're on this subject i know i'm supposed to do a portmanteau but i'm getting distracted um here's something else i wrote in my notes my inner child wants me to buy it all my inner child is adam smith that's a, a thing i thought was important enough to write down um what else do I have in here? Jesus is a Nepo baby. Just a, a fact. Um, what, what else did I write down in here? Uh, I just wrote the word uh, butt cape. One of those. I think that was about bad Cinderella, if I can recall. Jesus is a Nepo baby, Madison. What do you mean? He's the ultimate Nepo baby. <laughs> okay, I'm supposed to think of a portmanteau because clearly the ones I wrote down were not it. All right. Let me, um, let me think of one. Oh, I have a good one. I have a good one. Okay. So, um, a viral charity campaign from the 2010s and the pro and a green protag protagonist in a in a thing. Not Ice Bucket Shrek. Although certain the spirit is correct. Yes, a, a viral charity campaign from the 2010s. Shrek Coney 12 is not it, but I, I do like the energy. Perhaps the, the green thing was was too vague. Um Ah, I keep getting stuck. <laughs> Y'all keep thinking Shrek. I wasn't expecting Shrek. You, yes, Coney 2012 is the first part. You're right. Um, different green protagonist. You probably saw them recently. Blue Star, you're so close. I believe in you. Not Yoshi. Coney 2012 Aba. There we go. Konyoshi. Y'all are just making up your own. 
That's just my stomach. Honestly, that's just my stomach. Anyways, I'm gonna go to bed so that he stops interrupting me and yelling at me. So I'm gonna sleep for 22 hours. <laughs> what do you mean that did psychic damage? I thought that was good. I liked that one. I wonder what my other portmanteaus were that I wrote down. I guess we'll never know. You don't know what Coney 2012 is? Well, I might be doing a video on it at some point, so you'll learn soon. You'll learn soon enough. What if I told you there was... Uh, oh, never mind. I'm getting ahead of myself. I won't spoil it. I won't spoil it. I almost spoiled my own video. All right, we need to go back and finish reading that thing because we kept getting rudely interrupted. E.C. Wilco, shh. <laughs> I, I don't know what E.C. Wilco is talking about right now. Um, four, six, I gotta do this again. Four. Eight. Six. Uh, I already read that. Something. Okay. Oh my god. We gotta go fast. We gotta go fast, Nancy. We gotta go fast. Hmm. Gumbo foo. What's that? What's that mean? A propo movie? And insurance. It was to kill kill Coney. That was the whole thing. I didn't say Rick Arlen, back with a vengeance. Good for him. We haven't met Rick Arlen yet. All right, there we go. We did it. Yeah, I was also like, um, 13? Yeah, I was probably 13 turning 14 when Coney 2012 was a thing, and I also was not wise enough to understand, like, complicated geopolitical situations. Five, three, six, seven. There's Rick Arlen. This is Emily. Hi, Emily. It's Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew? I haven't heard from you in ages. House Hannah in River Heights. You're Kesh. not in San Francisco, are you, my dear? Iconic pop star with the symbol in her name and dead gorilla, Kesha Rambe. Oh, <laughs> Pink Harambe. Kesha doesn't have the symbol in her name anymore, though. She rebranded. The old Kesha can't come to the phone right now. Actually, I am. I'm helping one of Hannah's friends, Rose Green, renovate this wonderful old Victorian mansion. That's she fair. Wants to open up a bed and breakfast. Hmm. Seems to be the trend these days. I'll bet you're staying in the Haight Ashbury district. That's true. She was Kesha when Harambe died. Rest in peace. I'm not Rest in sure. peace. The place is located on California Lane. 4653, I think is the number. You know, you're lucky you caught me at home. I've been traveling most of these days, but after that crazy tour of Egypt. By the way, riding a camel is not as easy as it looks. My editor gave me an assignment right here in town. It'll be on the Dragons of San Francisco. Okay. I... I thought of another portmanteau, but I'm going to save it and I'm going to write the notes down for myself and we'll see if I can remember it and decipher my own notes by the time someone claims it again. Sad donkey and show about clones? Eeyore Wars? Clone Wars? Oh, um, oh, the Tumblr show. I know it. I, I, re I recognize the actress from it, but I don't remember what it's called. I know exactly what you're talking about, though. E Orphan Black, yes. Um, Dragons of San Francisco sounds exotic. Oh no. I hope you won't be riding them. 
What were you doing in Egypt? Oh, you know, the usual. Oh, uh, you know. Pyramids, bazaars, the Sphinx. But what are you up to, Nancy? Why'd you call? Is there anything I can help you out with? Do you know what the words gumbo foo mean? Hmm, sounds Chinese to me. Why don't you ask everyone what they think it means? Why it the door just open? With the house. In the meantime, I'll ask my friends about it. Gumbo foo. I I would love to be a voice actor if this was the voice I did. Huh. I don't know. Anyways, gumbo foo. I'm doing more than this voice actor is doing, but you know. Do you know I'm having anything fun. about Valdez? I don't think so. All right, well, you're so helpful. I should get going. Goodbye, Emily. I hope we'll talk soon. Talk soon, babe. How do I get out of here? Oh, God. Oh, God. Spinning and spinning and spinning. Doot, doot, not there. This door? There we go. <laughs> I know, sorry. I'm dizzy too. Still have to find that key. I don't remember where we find it. The key to open, like, the desk up in the attic? I think it's somewhere. <gasps> it wasn't real? The gay ball wasn't real? Is everything a lie? Next, you're gonna tell me that God's not real. Alright. But You're always at your desk, Rose. Don't you have somewhere else to go? Maybe I want to snoop through your stuff. You ever think of that? You ever think about that? No. No. No, no, no. Uh, well, let's go. Abby will be out at 3. Oh, well, it's 8.15 p.m. Yeah, go to bed, Rose. Set. Alright. It's midnight. If Rose is still at that dang desk, she needs to do some self-care. There we go. To-do list. Lines. Pretty dumb well. Homeowners, insurance. We already knew that though. For interactive mug. Dear Rose, what a pleasure it was to meet you. Oh my gosh, this <laughs> this logo. Do you think he showed up wearing a top hat? I think he did. As we've discussed, I'm extremely interested in examining the collection of old books that came to the house. They will help me considerably with my research of Victorian antiques. In exchange, I will be more than happy to consult you on renovations. Interesting. Okay. Her interactive mug. Mugging. Love it. Can we use the crowbar to... Ooh. Idea. Hang on. I might be wrong, though. Can't remember. Can we use the crowbar to open the piano thing? Yeah, a top hat and the fedora kind of have the same energy in my mind. Aw, crowbar doesn't work. That's literally what it's for. That's literally what it's for. Also, we should save. Uh-huh. Continue. All right, well, let's go to bed then, I guess. Oh, wait, we have the crowbar. We can lift this up. Let's do that. I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> I think Nancy was possessed there. 
just falling through holes at midnight as you do. So dark in here. Oh. Hello. The king of the sky will shine his ray. Do 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 king. King. Nancy has gifts. Nancy is uh, a marionette. Term paper. Got protein shake. Dear mom and dad, sorry I haven't written in a while, but things have really been busy. I'm working now, fixing up an old house. I've learned a lot and I'm very proud of the work I'm doing. I'm still in between places, so I'll let you know what my address is once I settle down. Say hi to grandma, Charlie. Hey. San Francisco pr prices? I don't blame ya. I don't blame ya. I remember uh, my cousin lives in San Francisco and for a while she was living with like five other people in one place and um, they would like take curtains across the living room to make it into multiple bedrooms because it was like a I think it might have been either a one or a two bedroom apartment that was being shared with like five people. It was bananas but that's what they had to do. All right, I should go to bed. I should go to bed. Yeah, burp, 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 burp. Burp, burp, burp. All right, night, night, Nancy. Let's sleep until, oh, I don't know, 3 p.m.? Oh, I don't know, like 3 p.m. Nancy likes to be well rested when she's solving our mysteries. Yeah, it's one of those days. All right now we can snoop through her stuff. Uh, according to legend, the infamous masked bandit El Diablo fell madly in love with Lizzie Applegate during her years as an entertainer at gold mining camps. At the end of Lizzie's performance, El Diablo would ride his jet, Black Steed, up, <laughs> up to the stage and leave her a bouquet of gardenias. It was rumored that Lizzie joined El Diablo's band of thieves and was present at the Christmas gold robbery of 1878. Girl boss. I'm hearing girl boss. Love that picture of a real man. Okay, Let's see what else? I love the vibes in here, first of all, may I just say. Fortune telling. <laughs> More pictures of real people. More real people. Love that. When the moon sleeps and the sun plays. God, that looks so similar similar to I. I'm gonna be so confused. Okay. Okay. How do I back away from this? Oh god, how do I back away? Oh god. There we go. Panic. Panic. Now, what's going on here? This is a mystery I'd like to solve. What's, what exactly is going on here? The Zodiac and you... Um... Came. Let me write this down. Or I could take a picture. Big Brain could take a picture of that. That's like what all my tagged photos look like to me. I just look like a wax figure next to my beautiful friends, you know? Absolutely. Ooh, fun little animation. What we got going on over here? Something's missing here. Something missing. She's got like a Hugh Hefner robe hanging up. Did you see that? <gasps> Five Nights at Freddy's. 
That's where we're gonna be. Five Nights at Freddy's. Who has called <gasps> me forth? Is anything real? Is anything real? Oh, that scared me. I thought someone had come in. You should watch Five Nights at Freddy's. It's the best movie of all time. The lore. The lore. Well, I think I've seen all I need to see here. Should we accuse Charlie of living in the walls? Nancy loves to yell at a homeless person. Let's do that. It's Nancy's favorite pastime. Hey, Nancy, I see you survived Abby's seance. Man, that Veldez guy sure sounded creepy. Were you down My here? Death. Living in the walls? Were you down here then? I don't remember seeing you. Rose told me all about it. Mm -hmm. So how are things coming along? <laughs> Anything I can help you out with? That was him in that blonde wig. I'm starting to think. Hmm. Can we not accuse him of living in the walls? Passageways down here? You mean like a I'm trap surprised. door leading to a room with skeletons or something? No, I haven't. Do you know what the words gumbo foo mean? I'm not sure. I've never heard that before. He's probably peeing in that hole we fell down before. I'll let you get back to your renovation. Later. Hmm, where? Oh, we can zoom in here. River. Hidden beneath a river of colors. That's handy. Do 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 Alright, is that it? That's it. That's that. Where the frick is that key, though? I really don't remember how we find that. Um. Hello. Charlie's living in the walls! <laughs> Know what Charlie's living in the walls. Foo means no, not that I can remember. They're dead Why roses. They're dead roses in the parlor. Are they dead again? For some <laughs> reason, they seem to die again? right after I buy them. It's strange. I've never seen that happen before. It must be the weather or something. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Don't work too hard. Charlie's peeing on all the roses. I guess it's hard times. Oh, you know what? We didn't look in that, um... There's a thing in the parlor I don't think we've looked at yet. Whoops. Um... Over this way. Aha! Do, do, do. Dear sir, we are pleased to announce that your bid for the auction property has been accepted. Fee simple estate interests have now been transferred to the charitable trust set up by the property's grantor. Ugh. This is triggering the bar exam for me. To the Ladies Protection Society. Fun. Love property law. So fun. Anything else? I guess not. Hmm. Oh, hello. It's good to know. Oh, hello. Portmanteau. Um. Uh... A green protagonist <laughs> and a tiny skateboard. <laughs> Shrek. Just Shrek. Shrek deck, yes, thank you. <laughs> exactly. Hello? Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Oh, so much George text. Let me put her on the speakerphone. Nancy? Hi, George. Hey, what's up? I'm in San Francisco, helping a friend of Hannah's renovate an old Victorian mansion. She wants to open up a bed and breakfast. Unfortunately, some strange Unfortunately. accidents made the project. Uh-oh. Well, get this. One of the owners, Abby, thinks the place is haunted by a ghost named Valdez. A ghost? Well, I'm glad I'm not out there. Sounds like another case is in the works. So tell us more about what's been going on. Do you know anything about the house's history? 
Can you guys give me a clue? Give me a clue, I'm babes. I'm not sure what to do next. We'll be more than happy to help. But it might be more fun to figure it out on your own. Open up that old desk in the attic. Yeah, how? Find a tool in the basement to help you pry open that loose bedpost in your room. <laughs> it might contain the key to the desk. Oh, I forgot that's how you do it. They said try it on your own, I sis. Talk to you later. Goodbye. Blue Star, what are you what are you threatening me with right now? Hmm, sure would be a tragedy if Ashley had a talk in third person. Yeah. <laughs> well, we already know George is living in the walls. Her and Charlie are yucking it up in there. Well, in that case, let's go to our room. Freak. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help if my chat is too poor for a third person redemption. You did what? Um, <laughs> Jeez, I, I George. The chandelier and it crashed to the floor. I can't believe it. You did what? It. No wonder Rose asked you to leave. I don't know what got into me. <laughs> Sounds like you really goofed up. Just don't vandalize the next house you stay in, okay? Especially if it's ours. <laughs> is this my karma? Is this the cross I have to bear? All right, Madison. All right. <laughs> Sneaky. I'm being bullied. I'm being hate rated right now. You what? <laughs> All right, Ashley, set the timer. Y'all better be happy. Because Ashley certainly isn't. And is that what you want? Is that what you really want? All right. Ashley has to go shake up that loose bedpost because, of course, there's a key in the loose bedpost. Why wouldn't there be? It's stuck. It's stuck. It's stuck. It's stuck. Uh huh. <laughs> Ashley's losing it. Ashley's using it. Y'all, my boyfriend, who is very into, who is a heavy metal musician, just came home and was like, "Would you want to go to a metal show or whatever?" Day and tell me why I thought he meant some kind of metalworking showcase where they'd make cool stuff out of metal. Ashley would be down for a metal showcase of that variety. <laughs> Ashley would be very intrigued by that. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Oh my gosh, which which key? Why do they make all the keys look the same? All right, Ashley's going over. Ashley's getting in there. Ooh, hey, babe. <laughs> Ashley can't read this. Dear Pie, that, that better shall serve add an introduction for my faithful employee, Wing Tang, who had been in my service and much read chef for over 10 years. It is with regret that I must just discharge him. And were it not for the retirement of my establishment, I would still retain hat services. Sincerely, E. Valdez. I think Ashley kind of nailed it. Ashley kind of nailed that one. Is there a book on how to read music? Or should Ashley just look it up? Should Ashley just look this up? Because Ashley does have a phone. Ashley has access to the internet, unlike Nancy Drew. As a, a, <laughs> Ashley Kumquat? <laughs> Acid kumquat. Ashley would be a little nervous too, but Ashley is generally not a, a concert person, to be fair. What I'm seeing? Ashley is evolving. Ashley has reached her final form. And know that the beginning is more difficult than it seems. Ashley appreciates that this one comes with a tutorial on how to draw it correctly. Mm okay. 
Ashley just kind of blacked out for a second, but Ashley's back. <laughs> Ashley has returned to her body, as as is the right way. Perfect. Nailed it. All right. Oh, Ashley can do this already. Uh. You're supposed to spell Diego, for those who haven't played the game before. Ashley assumed you wouldn't be able to do this already, though. Um, Ashley kind of crushed it. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see Ashley just body that puzzle right now? <laughs> Diego. Oh, wait. Diego. I've waited so long for your return, but I've kept our treasure true. Here is is the tool you'll need to find it. May your rainbow never run out of luck. Well, well. All right, Ashley is gonna give herself a migraine by reading any more of that. Y'all can read that at your own leisure. Rainbow? Hmm. Hmm. This house is gay and full of secrets. Just like Ashley. <laughs> Just like Ashley. Alright. Ashley's... Ashley's just going to, um... Google musical notes and piano things for a second here. Or... Honestly, Ashley might just look up how to do this, because Ashley can't read sheet music. Hang on. Because Ashley learned how to read in alto clef. Ash Ashley played the viola as a kid. Ashley didn't learn treble clef. It's useless. Mm. Mm. Okay. Also, the timer ran out. I'm free. Um, I think my also, I just said the timer ran out. I think my timer, my timer, my parents do still have my viola. It would probably sound horrific because I also don't remember how to tune it, but not to brag or anything, but I was second chair out of like five. It was not stiff competition when you played the viola. Oh, is that it? And then we go back upstairs and do that. New, new sub goal. Yeah, that's true. We should think of a new sub goal. It's not going to be anything longer than an eight hour stream. <laughs> Flash, it probably won't be another eight hour stream for a very long time. I'm looking forward to the eight hour stream. We're going to have fun, but it's going to be, I'm going to be tired. I'm going to be sleepy. Also, I didn't mean to come in here. All right, we gotta go back. Nope, hello. <laughs> Didn't mean to stare right at that. Ah! It's locked. Why do we have to unlock this every time? Should we have a viola showdown? <laughs> All the viola players in the chat? Like, uh... The fiddler versus the devil and devil went down to Georgia? Me versus chat? Which one of us is the devil? And which one of us is the angle? That's the question. Find Diego on the stairs. Oh, see, we already did that. We already did that. We're so ahead. What time is it? Oh my God, I haven't thought about the rosin in forever. It's stuck. Um, fuck, we're trapped. Could be your angle or your devil. You never know. Let's go to bed. Had a long day. Um, we've worked really hard and I'm really proud of what we've accomplished here. There we go. Yes, the eight-hour stream is next Wednesday. Get ready. 
Get ready. The Radio Rebel cosplay has been ordered. What was that? Ah! <laughs> Go back to France. <laughs> Go back to France. What time am I going to start? I'm going to start 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So a little bit earlier than my normal Wednesday stream. And then we'll go until 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Someone's big mad. Oh my gosh, you'll be recovering from your IUD insertion? Good luck, dog shampoos. Once it's done, it's very convenient. I like not having to deal with the pill anymore. Um, and... <laughs> have I told you all the, the IUD story before? Uh, honestly, the pain of the IUD wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Oh, hello. But, um, there was a med student touring that day who was, like, also there for my <laughs> procedure. And I got up after, I got up after the IUD insertion, and I have POTS, so I'm very prone to fainting. And so I fainted in the doctor's office, and that med student was so excited because... <laughs> <laughs> because I was definitely the most exciting thing that had happened to her that day because she had to bring out the oxygen tank and uh, get me a Capri Sun. I had to be wheelchaired out to the front. It was very dramatic. <laughs> I was okay. And you'll be okay, dog shampoos. I had a pre-existing condition, so <laughs> I don't say that to scare you. Anyways, there was a fire. Yeah. It'll, it'll all be okay. And now that I have it, it's... It's easy peasy. It's not so bad. You were sedated last time? I wish that was the standard, to be honest. It's crazy that it's not. All right, there we go. I didn't get anything last time. I got I got a Capri Sun. <laughs> and that was only after I fainted. I had earned that. <laughs> I talked to everybody in the house, and none of them can figure out what caused the fire. Maybe I should take Lewis's advice and cut my losses before it's too late. No, no, Queen. Hang on to what that property. Advice. He has a client who might want to buy the place. Someone with more experience and money to finish all of the renovations. What do the fire department say? They think the fire yeah, was don't trust him. from the fire. He's melting since it doesn't have a screen. And I specifically told Charlie to buy one. How could he have forgotten? No. I am bound and determined to stick yeah. with this house no matter what. Nothing can drive me away. I don't care if it's fires, earthquakes, or Mr. Valdez with his gang of ghosts. Good for you, Queen. Where did Abby find those papers that are in the parlor? She told me they were in her room, which surprised me since it was completely empty when we moved in. Now the room you're staying in was crammed with furniture. I think most of it was original with the house. Have you found any rainbow designs in the house? Rainbows? Any gays? No. Not that I can remember. Hmm. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Bye. Well, that was fun. What time is it? Oh, it's still three. It's 3.05. That fire took no time at all. All right, as I was trying to do before I got distracted. Ah, Nancy, ah. it's a shame to have lost those papers and to think that we so almost sad. lost the house. Rose is very fortunate to have you here. Um, good, <laughs> Lord, there's so many things to talk do about. Do you know what gumbo foo means? Where did you hear that? Uh, I read about it in a magazine. I see. As I recall, it means house of great books. After the great earthquake, many books and documents were stored in private homes to save them from the fires. The Chinese called those houses gumbo fu. Mm-hmm. Uh... Do you think Rose should sell the house? I leave that decision up to her. She's put an extraordinary amount of time and money into it. And I'm not sure if she can afford what it'll take to complete the renovations. Don't let it go. But whatever her decision, 
I will assist her however I can. Uh-huh. I don't believe you. I don't believe you for a second. I won't keep you any longer. Nice to see you again. Yeah, he's terrifying. I don't want to speak to him any longer than I have to. No, thank you. Absolutely not. Ooh. Hello. Did I do that? <laughs> Am I supposed to be able to read this? Okay. Okay. Mm. We go up to our room. Did we ask Emily about Gumbofu? I think we did, right? The girls are fighting. Do y'all hear that? It's really quiet. Let's just kiss and make up already. Oh, hello. Emily. I'm sorry I could not drop this off myself, but I'm out the door for a month long photo shoot in Mexico. I don't even know our relationship to this woman. I spoke with my friend about gumbo Fu, and she told me that it means gold treasure mansion. She wrote the Chinese symbols below. Hasta luego, Emily. So we were lied to several times. Put, write that down. We were lied to several times. Treasure. Okay, I think we have them all. I think we're almost done with the game, guys. Except we have like a horrific puzzle ahead of us. Horrific, my worst nightmare. I'm glad you dropped by. You know, I wanted to tell you that you'll be alone in the house for a while. A Everyone's while. going to the winter festival, <gasps> and Charlie's studying go. for finals. I also took down one of the tapestries in your room for dry cleaning, and what was the other thing? Oh, a messenger dropped off a letter for you. I put it in your room. Excuse me for prying, but why did you spend so much money They're already to leaving. ensure the house against fire? For protection. I've put my entire life savings into this house, and if it goes up in smoke, I'll lose everything. Are you missing any papers? Funny you should ask. Yes, I did misplace some old letters, but I'm sure they'll show up soon. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Take care. Bye, babe. Bye. Yeah, they're all about to abandon us. They said, solve the mystery. We're done. I mean, I did play this game like a month ago, so. <laughs> once you like, with the old games, once you know what they're doing, I feel like you can beat them in like 30 minutes, honestly. Okay, so this we have to do the Zodiacs in order. So I took a picture from the book. So, but it's also kind of hard to tell what these are. Rat. Oh god. Ox. Which one's the ox? Is it this one or this one? No, that's a horse. Um, ox. Tiger. Rabbit. Dragon. Snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, boar. Ah. Ah. Okay, and now we have to do all the Chinese symbols from the poem at the beginning. 
So let's see. Um, it's this one, and then it's beginning, which is um, how do I rotate these? How do I rotate these? Uh oh. Oh, there we go. It's beginning is... Oh, I see it, I think. This one? And then... Daughters? Is... Oh, it's down there, I think. Daughters four four and then this I I fire fire is this one. No, it's this one. This one? And then moon? Is this one? And then... Okay. That was king. And then river... is... River is like, oh, it's this three lines. And then... This one? Oh, I thought I didn't do it. We did it! My dearest Elizabeth, I could never sully that sweet name by calling you Lizzie. Okay, man. <laughs> okay. You shall evermore be Elizabeth, my Elizabeth. The sweet, dear woman who has honored me with her enchanting presence and grace. Tonight, I ride on yet another perilous... Yep. <laughs> but always you return to your beloved smile. Until then, please accept this bouquet of gardenias, your favorite, El Diablo. I could never sully that sweet name by calling you not Lizzie. <laughs> You shall henceforth be called not Elizabeth. <laughs> oh, any any you can sell that on Etsy. Depop, make a fortune. Where's our little thingy thing? Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's hurting my eyes trying to read that font. Uh get a little uh Hmm. Fuck. Dang it. I beefed it. Ah! Okay, okay. Let me think strategically here. There we go. No, wait. <laughs> I didn't realize I had the moon there. Okay. Fuck. Fuck! A restart. Love it. Love a restart. Oh, have fun on your run. Be safe. Okay. Okay. 
There's definitely a, a strat to this. Okay. That was not the strat. Or was it the strat? It was the strat. What was that? I hate slide puzzles. I hate slide puzzles so much. Okay, I'm gonna save. Because from what I remember, this slide puzzle, you can't like restart it once you do it. So, um, I'm gonna try it on my own. And then if it takes too long, I will, I'm not above doing game boomers because who has the time but I'm also going to look up what it looks like in the end I'm still going to slightly cheat slide puzzle haunted mansion okay that's what it looks like all right that's what we're aiming for um which means So that goes there. And then you want to try and do like a row, get a row right. And then you don't fuck with that row. That's how, that's how slide puzzles work. As the resident slide puzzle expert, I can tell you. I know a thing or two about slide puzzles. Um, okay. Boom. Okay, so that's that row done. And then... Hang on. <laughs> um... Am I kind of, like, good at slide puzzles now? I did look up what it looked like in the end, but... <laughs> I'm impressed with myself. Also this. Can't read that. Y'all can't make me read that. After... I my reward for solving the puzzle so quickly is not having to read that. Also a portmanteau. Certainly. Um. Hmm. I can't back out. <laughs> no! I can't back out. I'm oh. getting close! Let me save the game real quick. Um, let's start with also K stumps. Thank you for the <laughs> thank you for the bits. Um, okay. A character, a character we do not like, and a movie starring uh, Julia Fox. That's her name, right? Sleep for a full 24 hours. <laughs> Ned Nicker Sun Cut Gems. <laughs> Uncut Dianeds <laughs> is also good. <laughs> All right. Y'all ready to solve a mystery or what? Y'all ready to solve the fastest mystery of your lives? <laughs> Anyways, I'm trying to work here. I'm trying to work here. All right. Something goes here. Oh, 
let him cook. <gasps> the rainbows. The gays. The gays. It's stuck. Oh, come on, Nancy. Gold. Woo! And to think I was standing on it all along. We're rich. <laughs> Too bad. Ah. <laughs> No! Lewis? I knew it. There must be over Why is he caked up? Do you see this? Stop him before he gets away. I'm sorry, I'm distracted by the cake over there. Oh. Look at those cheeks. So long, losers. Oh. Was I supposed to do something about that? You just <laughs> the let him slow get away? run away. There was nothing I could do. I'm sure there was something you could have done to stop him. Well, you probably had to act fast and didn't have enough time. I guess this mystery's solved. Unfortunately, the bad guy got away. This time. Oh well, there was nothing to do. To stop him before he gets away. Is it uh this way? All right, come on, let's kill him. Kill him, Nancy. Yes. Murder him. What pay? To all of them. He's dead. Hey, hey, get me out of here. Dear Bess, I'm just about finished with my renovation work and counting out all of those gold coins. Lewis was behind all of the accidents, <laughs> hoping to pressure Rose into selling the house. <laughs> Thank you, Ken Kastums. Himself. Although Rose and Abby may not have a legal right to the gold, the bank the coins were stolen from will still give them a reward for oh, so much happened in so little time has gotten a lot of publicity with all of the news stories and the place get me out of here solid for the first month of its opening i guess a haunted bed and breakfast with hidden treasures is all the rage these days even if there are no such things as ghosts uh, i think i think see you soon nancy we did it it was that easy an hour and 47 minutes. Look at us. Hey, look at us. And I did a slide puzzle with no game boomers. And that's the real accomplishment. Ugh. Should we raid somebody? I feel like we're done so early. Also, is there a game trailer at the end of this? Or should I just get out of this? I don't think there is in the old ones, are there? Is anyone live right now? I've never done a raid, but maybe we should. No trailer? Then don't waste my time. I know, we need a raid message. I don't even know what we do in these things, these scenarios. <laughs> we could stream Char Raid Jarvis Johnson. Uh, sure. I can't save. All right, we're done. <laughs> Uh, no. Balls is the raid message. You just got radio rebelled is fun. I like you just got radio rebelled. Let me see if I can see if there's anybody else. What happens when I press the raid button? Oh, you know what? Uh, someone, one of my, uh, like mutuals on Instagram is live now. I don't know if y'all know Mary Loves Mew. But they also stream some Nancy Drew content. And they're lovely. They live in Seattle. We should raid them. We should definitely raid them. Because uh, I never get to watch her streams because she's live at the same time as me. Y'all will like her. All right. How do we do this? We do this. You just got Radio Rebel. Is everybody ready for it? Should we do it? I've never done this before. I don't even know how it works. All right. We're going to start it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Let's go. I'm nervous. All right. We're in.
My name is Mary. Oh, you're playing Message in a Haunted Mansion. Oh, it's not my birthday. Did I just say it's not my birthday? I'm so sorry. And I'm, it's not actually my birthday. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, it's not actually my birthday.